Hello plenty people, welcome back to my channel and uh, this is another little surprise video which is why I'm dressed in my gross house clothes and um, I am really excited about this one because I have a dream plant in this box. It just arrived, I haven't even opened it yet and I thought I would do it with you all and Murph, stop bumping the camera, please. He keeps bumping the camera so if you're seeing it doing this he is to blame. So get mad at that face, I dare ya. <laughs> Go away, buddy. So I'm going to be opening up this box. It does have this way up written all over it. And of course it arrived upside down on my front porch. So good job as always, Australia Post. Really appreciate it. Is it so hard to just read the instructions? And now Murph's bumping the plants behind me. Anyway, apparently it is, um, but the seller sent me photos of it all taped down in the box and when I turned it back up the right way it didn't go like ka -clunk, ka clunk like something had come loose and broken or anything. So it all sounds like it's fine. So we're gonna... Dude, seriously. Pause. Oh, Jack bit me. Probably can't see it, but he bit me. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to open up the box together. Like I said, it sounds okay. So, um, now this one is a more expensive plant. Um, I'm not going to talk about prices in this video because being in Australia, things are very different over here. And I just don't want. So we're just going to enjoy the beautiful instead. Alright. I was told to be careful opening this box up by the seller. Um, because everything is so taped down inside. So I'm going to be a little bit slower. And I'll just kind of ramble while I do it, hey? So this is one that I first... Uh, let me sit down. I first told myself I didn't want this plant. Um, I tried to talk myself out of loving it so much. Um, and then when I did start actually looking into one for myself, it was just way out of my league. Um, however, I've had some, you know, good luck lately and then found one for an amazing price and jumped on it before I really thought about it. So it's here. And it's arrived and we're going to look at it together and some of you will know straight away what it is as soon as i open the box um however i open the box okay yeah this is going to be the best way to do it i think Definitely well packaged, that's for sure. Alright, I'm gonna just cut the box again. Like with the other unboxing video I did recently. We're just gonna cut the cardboard because I don't care about cardboard. I have no sentimental attachment to this truck box. Okay, and everything looks so safe and so well packaged. Oh my gosh. I told myself I wouldn't cry, but I'm probably gonna cry. Oh man, that's so generous and lovely. Okay, that's the best way to do this. All right, let's get rid of the Lego. It's a Lego box. <laughs> that's some creative like reboxing though. They've made that box. All right, so now we have so the one you can see is not is the free plant. So I'm gonna have to um, find out what that is because I don't know. <laughs> and then the one you can't see is not. <laughs> All right. So. Ba -da -ba -do. <laughs> so this is some sort of um, interior. I think I haven't had one of these before, but it's really pretty. Oh wow, that sticky tape was about to give way. So I'm so glad that it 
didn't fall when Australia Post had it up the other way or it would have been snapped into pieces. Oh, that's pretty. So that's the free plant they've included, which is really kind of them. Can't see a label. It's beautiful though. Um, if you know what it is, you're probably heaps of people going, ah, it's this. Pop it in the in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And of course, I'm going to post it in a Facebook group to ask for an ID. Um, oh, it's lovely though. It's got a beautiful shimmer. But that's not what we're all here to see, right? But I'll pop it here just in frame being adorable. All right. You ready? So it's got little instructions. So it's got a little pull here tag. Um, so I'm going to pull there. I don't know why. Oh, I was supposed to open the top of the books and lift it out. I think they told me that. Well, you just watched me do everything the hard way possible because I was supposed to just slide this out of the top of the box and it would have been a really, really fancy <laughs> reveal. But of course, in a typical me, I have just made it as 100% harder for myself than I needed to. So what I should have done is just open the top and just slid it out and then I would have had this lovely box in front of me. <laughs> but instead, I carefully opened it from the side because I'm a doofus. <laughs> All right. Now let's do the revealing up close, shall we? Okay, get in here. Okay. So I'm just gonna tear this tissue away. We'll get a little bit more light in here. Ta-da! Angel sound. Oh, uh, if you haven't guessed already and you don't know what you're looking at, this is a Monstera Albo Borzigiana Barricata. And I don't care if it makes me a basic bitch. I don't care at all. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. All right, now I'm just going to put it up here again to very carefully remove these pieces of cardboard here. Because there is a tiny little baby leaf sprout under here and I really, really don't want to damage it as I'm taking off this cardboard. So we're just focusing on it being safe. It's safe. <sighs> I was so worried about transport and I'm sure the seller was as well. Um about that little leaf sprout so I'll bring it back up to the camera now for you look at it so that little leaf sprout there I was really worried wouldn't survive transport but it has and it's beautiful and healthy and there's just some strings at the back here So they've also tied, this is some really like, this, this seller is amazing. They've obviously got a lot of experience with um, packaging plants. Well, they've done a lot of research either way. I'm very impressed. Thank you. After I had a really bad experience with, um, so while I'm cutting this, I'll tell you a little story. The last rare monster I bought on eBay um, was a Thai Constellation baby. Uh, it um, arrived and it looked fine. Packaging was demolished by Australia Post. Like, I mean, demolished the box. Hold on, let me pause and insert a photo for you. So that's what the box looked like. I was so um, amazed the plant had even survived that at all. Um, so I nursed it what I thought was back to health and then about two weeks later it started to look a little dodgy and I had not touched it, I had not watered it, I had not done anything to it. I had popped it under my grow light and just crossed my fingers because the, the, the soil looked fairly damp when it arrived anyway so I went just leave it alone. It's not going to need a water. And then it started to look a little bit floppy and I was like oh maybe maybe it does need a bit of a water. 
So I gave it a little bit of a water and it didn't perk back up. Now it should have perked back up. It turned out after I pulled it out of the pot. Let me just insert you another photo right now. Yeah, that was the roots. They were the worst rotten roots I have ever seen on a plant ever. They were smelly. It like it smelt. It was disgusting. I was absolutely shocked at how foul that was. Oh, that's a lovely sound, isn't it? <laughs> um, and so I was really lucky that because it was an eBay purchase with PayPal and things like that, I did get a refund. Um, and I did try and save that little node, but unfortunately, because it had been left so long, it had just died. There was nothing left to save. Um, so with this one, I was really glad to see that it's a clear pot where I can see the good roots, which I'll show you when I get it out. Um, but it meant that I won't have to repot it straight away because otherwise that was my plan, was to repot it because I did not want another rotten root saga like I had with my uh, last tie. Since then, thankfully, I was very lucky to find a lovely lady on my local page, um, like plant page, and uh, she sold me a beautiful big five leaf cutting of uh, Thai, her Thai constellation, which if you've watched my houseplant tour video, would have been in that one, and it'll be in my next one. And I repot that recently, actually, and it had the most amazing root system. I was so proud of it. Um, actually, here, have a look. Yeah, so that was three months from literally air roots to just sticking it in a pot and giving it some seaweed tonic and just a little bit of a bottom water every now and then. And it grew that amazing root system in three months. So I'm hoping it'll give me a leaf soon, but um, I'm not being impatient with it. It's just happy doing its thing. It'll give me a leaf when it's ready. Um, I'm more impressed that that root system is so established after such a short time. So anyway, back to the whole reason we're here today. Sorry if you hate that noise, there's not much I can do about that one. Now, I was also told to be very careful when taking the plastic off the top here. So I'm going to try and find the end of the tape. And we're just going to go round gently and round gently and round gently. So I don't know how many of this this makes um, for my monster collection, but I'll pop a number on screen after I've counted. So that's how many different individual monster genus I have. And they are my favorite. And then one of the harder ones to get a high number of because there's only approximately 50 known monster genus. If you want to know a really amazing monster video, I'm going to link, link uh, Kaylee Allen's video in the description below because she does an amazing monster genus video and I just love it and I wish I could collect all of them but some of them are tens of thousands of dollars and I'm not paying that much for a plant ever unless like I'm suddenly a multi-millionaire and that's even then I'm buying the plant cutting it up into little pieces and like giving half of it away because plants shouldn't cost that much and it's ridiculous uh anyway that's my little bit of a rant but for quite a long time, Monstera have been one of my favorite genus, uh, as you can probably guess. I've always loved the traditional Deliciosa style leaf, which the Borsigiana also has. Uh, I love the Adesonis and the other sort of split leaf varieties. And then um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you have known that I also love the Dubaia and um, the Shingling. That's the Shingling flat one. Um, and I kind of love all of them. So, you know, anyone who wants to send me any cool, interesting monster varieties I don't have, <laughs> always down for it. <laughs> anyway, back to the moment of truth. So, um, yeah, I will will pop up on the screen exactly how many monster varieties that actually I have at the moment. And then a friend just offered me a cutting of her Addison Nye long form. 
So that'll, yeah, so that one I don't have yet. So I'm excited to get that one from her. And that'll be a new one that I don't have in my collection. Um, just getting so damn careful right now. Okay. Now, from what I can see, her root looks really good. It doesn't look like I need to do any kind of repotting. Thank goodness. I really didn't want to after transport. Um, it's just such a shock to the system. But after I had that issue with the last one, I even posted in one of the rare um, Arrowhead Tropical groups being like, ah, do I rape on it? Here's my previous experience. Um, but I'm going to try and show you on the camera here. Hopefully it doesn't focus too much on my face. There are lots of healthy roots in there that I can see. And hopefully you can see them too. Um, try and move my face. So there are lots of healthy roots in there that, you, oh, there's a good one you can see. See there? Um, that looks beautiful and healthy and amazing. So I'm not going to repot that one. I'm just going to leave it alone. So I'm very appreciative of the seller waiting for this plant to have a proper root system before posting it <laughs> and selling it because... This is such a high trend plant. A lot of sellers aren't doing that. There's a lot of, um, again, I'm going to link another video of Kaylee Allen's in the description now. Um, this is her kind of scam video about this particular genus um, where people have been um, scamming by selling non-viable nodes, um, which means that they are nodes that are never going to grow properly or they're nodes that have been cut wrong so that they've got a very low chance of growing or they've been too close. There was the whole wet stick trend where people were literally selling a piece of stick which was from the plant but had absolutely no chance in the world of ever growing into a plant ever. And usually the sellers would know this and were scamming people. And so um, having one arrive that's got a really healthy root system and a new growth point is um, very, very, very happy for me. Um, I've seen a lot of plants being sold that are not very viable and are not very healthy. And this one is viable, healthy. The root system's beautiful. I'm feeling extremely lucky right now and to get a cute little freebie um that's so cute like the sparkle on the leaves is really beautiful and um some big thank you to the seller for this little freebie um it's very appreciated and loved and i thank you very very much um I will unwrap that one a little bit later. You don't need to be hearing all that tape on camera. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this little unboxing video of my pretty new little baby. I'm going to set her up on a heat mat because it's starting to get very, very cold in my city overnight now. And I just, she doesn't need to go through that. I don't like going through it. Why should I put the plant through it? Now I'm going to insert some uh, B-roll footage close-ups of her in at the end like I do with most of my videos so if you want to see some just lovely footage of her being beautiful and glorious then uh, stay tuned and keep watching for that otherwise thank you for watching with my terrible messy hair and my pajamas <laughs> I was not waiting to get changed to open this box as you can probably understand um, so thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe and do all of those things that make YouTube work a little bit better and check out my Instagram and my Facebook and yeah, keep growing like your plants and stay tuned for my next video.